Creative first dates. Make a meal together. Whether you're the next Ina Garten or more of a David from Schitt's Creek in the kitchen. Creating something yummy together is a delicious date. Build a fire. Tap into your inner boy or girl scout and make a roaring fire. Indoors or at a fire-approved outdoor locale. Don't forget the s'mores. Learn a TikTok dance. Yes. You'll look silly. No. You probably won't go viral. But if there's a better way to get over first date jitters than dancing around like a goofball. We've never heard of it. Make a craft. Pick up a crafting kit if you're not the DIY type. Or drag out the supplies for your favorite artsy hobby and make something with your hands. Even if the sparks don't fly, you'll have something to show for your time. Sing karaoke. Either you'll impress your date with your singing talent or you'll get to laugh together at your tone deafness. It's a blast. Either way. Take a cooking class. Sharpening your knife skills and enjoying the meal you made with your own two hands? There's no way you won't have a great time. Visit an art gallery. Nothing makes you feel creative than checking out others' masterful works. Plus, there's a ton of conversation fodder all around you. Paint each other's nails. A fresh mani pedi makes everybody feel like a new person. Regardless of your gender. It also basically forces you to focus on each other. Read a romance novel together. They're basically an instruction manual for love. Right? The spicier and more blush-inducing. The better. Indoor first dates. Attend a comedy show. What better way to break the ice than with laughter? You both will be in stitches all night long and you can even follow up the show with drinks or dessert. Go see a play. Much talking won't take place during the show. But real theater fans will want to chat about all of their favorite parts as soon as you leave your seats. Try out a subscription box. If you've known each other forever, hanging out at home isn't far-fetched. In fact, a long-term friend turned lover would probably love the opportunity to DIY. Cook or create your own escape room as long as you're together. Plus, the box will already include everything you need to create a unique two-person experience. Hit up a museum. History. Science. Or a weird and zany offering. Museums give you lots to think about. Debrief what you learn at the cafe afterward. Challenge them to trivia. We've all got at least one topic we could expound upon for hours. Find out theirs. Watch a sports game. Even high school basketball can be a ton of fun if you really get into it. And we suggest you really get into it. Go wine or beer tasting. Local wineries. Breweries and even distilleries usually have tours and tastings. Learn something new about your favorite tipple for a fun alternative to the typical drink state. Shop for antiques. Challenge each other to find the strangest, coolest or creepiest item at the shop. Go to an arcade. Get in touch with your middle school self and hang out at an arcade. They may even win you a stuffed animal. See a play or a concert. Okay. This one does have a lot in common with dinner and a movie. But supporting the arts is sexy. And you can learn a lot about somebody by which music or plays they suggest. Visit an aquarium. Did you know clams can scoot across the ocean floor? Replenish your bank of cocktail party conversation starters with some fun fish facts. See a drag show. Fun. Flirty and sometimes adult-themed. Drag shows are an absolute blast. Don't forget to bring singles for tipping.
Go bowling. Those shoes may not do your outfit any favors. But is there a more creative way to flirt than asking them to help correct your form? Didn't think so. Make tie-dye. Getting into the tie-dye trend means you'll have a homemade memento of your first outing. Cute first dates. Visit a winery. Everyone loves a good charcuterie board. A glass of wine and a good view. Try some new varietal or introduce them to some of your favorites. Have a picnic. There's something so sweet about eating outside. Grab a blanket or just an old sheet and bring your favorite wine. Cheese and crackers. Cut up fruit and vegetables or whatever else your little heart desires. Choose library books for each other. Since you can't talk about a certain level in the library, pick out books that you think suit the other person then read them to each other over coffee afterward. Visit a cat cafe. The two of you won't be the only cute ones in attendance. Get ice cream or dessert. President Joe Biden is really onto something. No one should ever pass an ice cream parlor without stopping for a scoop. If it's not ice cream season, try pie, cake, cookies, you get the idea. Shop for records. Paging through the bins for the best find will get you chatting about your favorite artists. Go stargazing. Yes. There's an app for that. Cozy blanket. Hot beverages and cuddling highly recommended. Play a board game. Drag out your old favorites or head to a gaming cafe to test drive some new ones. Loser has to buy dinner or drinks afterward. Pretend to be tourists. Every city or town has something only the tourists do. Even if it's just a walk down the main drag. Do that. And fall in love with your hometown and hopefully your date. 2. Go bird watching. It's trendy right now for a reason. Trust us. The excitement of catching a new to you species is infectious. Check out the zoo. Watching the adorable antics of the animals there will get you giggling. Guaranteed. Shop at a thrift store. Set yourselves a budget and pick out outfits for each other, the more creative. The better. Long distance appropriate dates. Play Never Have I Ever. It can be hard to keep up a conversation on a first video date. Up the ante with the classic game. Walk down memory lane. Open up that camera roll. Scroll back and back and back. And share stories of the person you were before you met. It's bound to bring you closer. Try a new to you cuisine. This one works especially well if you're far apart. Order a type of food you've never had before and give it a shot together. Share childhood favorites. Yes. We said dinner and a movie was off the table. But we'll break our own rule for queuing up a flick that really captures your childhood. Popcorn is mandatory. Eat breakfast for dinner. How do you like your eggs? There's a lot to be said for someone who has definitive opinions on over easy versus. Scrambled. Hold a chocolate tasting. Grab a few bars of different flavors or varieties and test out whether chocolate really is an aphrodisiac. Play a video game. If you're not usually a gamer. Even better. Video games are so much more fun when you're both equally great or terrible at them. Liz Schumer. Liz is a senior editor at Good Housekeeping where she runs the GH Book Club, edits essays and long-form features and writes about pets, books and lifestyle topics, a journalist for almost two decades. She is the author of Biography of a Body and Buffalo Steel.
She also teaches journalism as an adjunct professor at New York University's School of Professional Studies and Creative Nonfiction at the Muse Writing Center. And coaches with the New York Writing Room. Cameron Jenkins. Cameron is a staff writer for Good Housekeeping, where she covers everything from holidays to food. She is a graduate of Syracuse University, where she received a B. A. In magazine journalism. In her spare time, she can be found scrolling TikTok for the latest cleaning hacks and restaurant openings. Binge watching seasons of Project Runway or online shopping. <laughs>